Today, I will going to discuss the attempts to amend or change the 1987 Constitution. But before that, or before we proceed, let me tell you what is Constitution and why it is important. A Constitution provides the basis for governments in a country which is essential to making sure that everyone's interests and needs are addressed. It determines how laws, law are made, and they tell the process by which the government rules. Imagine a world without a corruption is. Okay, let's proceed. The 1987 Constitution, constitution provides for three methods by which the Constitution can be amended, all requiring ratification by a majority vote, a national ref- referendum. referendum. This, this, these are the three methods. This, this is the three methods: the Constitution Assembly, the Constitutional Con, 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 Convention, and People Initiative. Using these met- modes, the effort to amend or change the 1987 Constitution, starting with the presidency of Fidel B. Ramos, who succeeded Corazon Aquino. Ang siligang batas noong 1987 ay naglatadhana ng tatlong paraan ko saan maaring amyandahan ang konstitusyon lahat ay nangangalangan ng ratifikasyon na mayorang boto sa isang pabansang referendum. Gamit ang mga mode na ito ay may mga pagsisikap na amyandahan o baguhin ang 1987 konstitusyon sim- simula sa pagpangu- pagpa- pag kapangulo ni Fidel V. Ramos na humalili kay Corazon Aquino. The first the first the first method is the first attempt or the first attempt was in 1997 when then Secretary of National Security Council Jose Almonte drafted the constitution but it was exposed to the media and never it never process prospered the second is the second effort happened in 1997 when a group called prima hoped to gather signature from voters to change the constitution through a people initiative many were against this including then senator create the party list system to provide the spaces for the participant of underrepresented community, sectors, or group. Bachelors' representative may fill up not more than 20% of the sets of the House. Ang unang pagtangka ay noong 1995 ng ang mga kalihim ng National Security Council na si Jose Almonte ay bumalangkas ng isang konstitusyon ngunit ay nalantad sa media at hindi ito umunlad. It failed. Ang ikalawang pagsisikap ay nangyari noong 1997 ng isang grupo na tinatawag na PERMA ay umaasa na makakalap ng mga lagda mula sa mga botante upang baguhin ang mga konstitusyon sa pamamagitan ng isang people initiative. Marami ang tutol dito kasama na noon si Senador si Senador Lumika ang isang senador lumika ng isang party less upang magbigay ng mga puwang para sa pakikilahok ng mga nasa lalim ng kinakatawan ng mga sektor sa grupo ng komunidad. Maaring punan ang mga tina, tina, kinatawan ng party list ng hindi higit sa 20% ng mga pwesto sa kamara. Aside from Exclusive power of the legislation, Congress may also declare war through a two-third vote in both both upper and lower houses. The power of legis- legislation, however, is is also subject to an executive check as an as the president retains the power to the to veto or stop the bill from becoming a law. Congress may only override this power with two-thirds vote in in both houses. 
Bukod sa eksklusibong kap- kapangyarihan ng batas, ay ang Kongreso ay maaari ding magdeklara ng digmaan sa pamamagitan ng dalawang dalawang ikatlong boto sa parehong mataas at bababang kapulung, kapulungan. Ang kapangyarihan ng batas, gayon pa man ay, na, ay napapailaliman na, na, din sa is, isang hikoktibong hiko, check eh. dahil ang presidente ay manatili ang kapangyarihang i-voto o pigilan ang isang panungkalang batas na maging bat, na maging batas maari lamang i-override ang kongreso ang kapangyarihan ito sa magitan ng dalawa ikatlong boto sa parehong kapulungan voting The Philippine court system is vested with the power of the judiciary and judiciary and is composed of Supreme Court and lower courts as created by law. The Supreme Court is, is a 15-member court appointed by the president without the need to be confirmed by Congress. The appointment the president makes, however, is limited to at least to a list of nominees provided by constitutional specific, specified Judicial and Bar Council. The Supreme Court Justice may hear, may hear on appeal any cases dealing with the constitutionality of any law, tra- treaty, or decree of the government cases where questions of jurisdiction or ju- judicial error are concerned or cases where the penalty is sufficiently grave. It may also exercise original jurisdiction over cases involving government or international official. The Supreme Court is also charged of overseeing the functioning and administration of the lower courts of their personnel. Ang sistema ng, ng korte ng Pilipinas ay binigay sa kapangyarihan ng nahudikotura at binubo ng isang Korte Suprema ng mga mababang hukuman na likha ng batas. Ang Korte Suprema ay isang 15-member na hukuman na hinaharang ng, hinirang ng Pangulo nang hindi kailangan kumpirmahan ang Kongreso. Ang paghirang sa pinag, pinag, ginagawa ng Pangulo, gayon pa man ay limitado sa isang listahan ang mga numedado na binibigay ng isang, tinuk, ng isang tinutukoy sa Constitution ni, ng Sus, Judicial and Bar Council. Maring dinggin ng mga maestrado ng korte suprema ang ap, ang pag-apila ng anumang mga kasus na tumatalakay sa konstitusyonal ng anumang batas kasunduan o, at, o atas ng pamahalaan mga, ka, mga kaso kung, kung saan ang mga usip, usapin ay korosdikasyon o kam, kamalian ng host, judicial ay nababahala o mga kaso kung saan ang parusa ay sapat sapat na, na mabigat maari na rin itong gumamit ng original na original discussion sa mga kaso sa kina kina as kuta ng mga official kinasangkuta ng mga official ng gobyerno o an international ang korte suprema rin ang namamahala sa sa kina paggana o pag ng walang mga mababang hukuman ang kanilang mga tauhan The council also established three independent constitution commission, Silver Service Commission, a central agency in charge of government personnel, the commission of election, mandate to enforce and administer or election laws and regulation. <coughs> this three is. Ang tatlong to ay iisa lang. Pasensya na. Pag-edit ganyan. 
Commission of Election and mandated to enforce an administration of election laws regulation and the Commission of Audit, which examined all funds, transactions, and property accounts of the government and its agencies. To further promote the ethical of lawful conduct of the government, the Office of the Obudusman was created to investigate complaints that pertain to public corruption, a lawful behavior of public official and other public misconduct. The, ob the Ombudsman can charge public official before the Sandig Sandigan Bayan Special Court created for this purpose. Panghig Panghigit pang isulo ang etikal na naayon sa batas at na, na pagugali ng gobyerno nalika ang tanggapan ng ombudsman upang imbestigahan ang mga reklamong naguugnay sa katuwaan sa publika lab, labag sa batas ang pagugali ng mga pampublikong opisyal na ito pang maling pagugali sa publiko maring kasuhan ng ombudsman ang mga pampublikong opisyal Sandigang bayan ang isa ang isang espesyal na hukuman ng lakha para sa layunin na ito. Changing the constitution is a per perennial issue that cross up on terms such as cha cha con as and con con are regularly thrown around Article X711 of the 1987 Constitutional provides for three ways by which the Constitution can be changed. Congress, House of Representatives, and the Senate may convince a, constit a Constitution Assembly or can ask the proposed amend amendments to the Constitution. It's not clear, however, if Congress is to vote a single.